Yeah, then I ended up going, oddly enough, I ended up going to Fabric of all, pla of all places, right? Fabric, Fabric, Fabric. I've had a lot of very disparaging things to say about Fabric over the years, um, with good reason, right? I think if anybody has been there, if anybody's from London, you probably have the same love-hate relationship that I have with Fabric, but, you know, it's one of our institutions. And if anything, they've survived this long by um, probably being maybe one of the better well-run clubs out there, right? They just they just do things correct. There's just no hiding behind it. There's no kind of if, buts, and maybe. It's just is the, is the fact on it. And the fact that they've got such a long history, um, they've been able to build and give platform to some of the biggest DJs out there. And over the years, they've just been able to kind of reinvent themselves, even against, you know, all kind of all, all underlying trends even when people kind of counted them out they've kind of always seemed to kind of rise up again like a phoenix so you have to give them man credit and you have to give them man credit and i think nowadays because there's just so many other venues in london and uk you can now appreciate fabric more i think when fabric was one of the only ones around it kind of felt a bit lame um you know or whatever you know what i mean but now there's just so much other stuff on different kind of bookings and programming which is what i like i, I like the fact that a lot of these clubs maybe it's because of the way the industry is and you can't book certain people if they're in the city but i love the fact that you you know you're never going to get the same lineup that you're going to get in a cause as you're going to get at, at fold for instance i love that right even though you would assume or you'd think in your head that they both maybe got a lot of overlap in terms of their clientele they still don't have exactly like for like venues or you know lineups unless the promoters just go and move them over there but for the most part they both offer different sort of programming and then again fabric compared to cause and fold is completely different too in their programming so i'm a big fan of that and of course recently they did the refurb which i covered of course on my podcast before which look fairly impressive but i was very dubious about whether that was going to do anything because again the essence of the club is rarely um in my opinion comes down to the fixtures and the lighting and this whatever it mostly comes down to the people that go there right the people that work there and the people that go there for the most part they're the ones that kind of really cultivate the atmosphere um and the feeling and the vibe of a space whether it's a shop a store an office yeah the people that work there and the people that perform they'll go there whatever are the ones that the customers and stuff are the ones that give it the vibe so I received an invite, a very, very kind invite. So big up to you know who for giving me the invite. Very, very much appreciated um, to go see mostly an Imogen Presents Wigs um, event that was happening in Fabric in Room 2. And then also to have the opportunity to go see Jeff Mills play in Room 1 for a little bit with Anastasia Christiansen and Tape Feed, right? So a pretty decent and stacked lineup. Um, focusing mostly on the wig stuff, um, pretty decent i think approach to it um for the most part i remember seeing it featured before an ra maybe a few weeks before it got in that or maybe a few months before it actually um went down maybe around june july i'm not too sure i didn't really remember to cover it on the channel at the time but that aside um i remember signing up for a pack that you got and if i'm not mistaken the pack had like a couple of clips on there which i'm assuming related back to the idea around wigs and what they were trying to do creating this space for people or new people coming up to basically express themselves when it comes to dance laws and other things that she's looking obviously to do um imogen was obviously the main head behind that and then if they also included uh an ep of, of some sort if i'm not mistaken too like five tracks i don't know i've not checked in ages but i remember it was like a five track ep all wi files so extremely high quality stuff that you can whack into a set right away all free i think there's a matrix man set there there was an um um belt um, oh, sorry, Umbelt. Um, Umwelt set in there too, and a few others. I'm not really too sure. I think obviously an imaging track. Maybe everyone, else, maybe everyone else featured. I'm not too sure. But uh, again, I haven't checked it in ages. And I remember that being a thing. And I just like the approach of it. I like the fact that she was sending out little email promos that were obviously written by herself. So they gave it a little bit more of a personal feel. The idea of cultivating the community. I'm talking to you. I want to build this up with you guys. I want to receive your input. And if I'm completely honest, it was a really interesting crowd. I think it made the night a lot more interesting because for the most part i'd guess the majority of people come came down there again you don't know let's not assume but let, it's, let's say it's safe to assume most of the people that came down there came to see jeff mills and then the rest of them probably came to see a mixture of nsrj christensen tape feed and again the wigs event that's happening in room two so it's a fairly even split but i guess because jeff mills was playing a sort of early set what do you call it early i don't think it was early he played around what what at what time did i get there i got there around 2 30 2 40 and i guess he was on already before i got there so he might have been on from like one till three or something along that kind of lines or one till three thirty, and then he kind of dipped straight after no real stays or highs or anything he just went out i mean straight professional vibes out there but 
it was still a pretty good turnout for room two. I have to be honest, a really good turnout, especially again for somebody like a Jeff Mills to be in room one, who's a flipping, you know, um, colossal legend in the scene. For you to still have a fairly decent crowd in room two definitely went to show for the quality of music that was on display. Um, I, if I'm not mistaken, in between that time I was in there, that um, the girl that features on here, Marie Mox, Moxtira, Moxtire, was playing, who um, got a lot of kind of good reception from the crowd that was there. Um, I've heard heard a couple of good things about her as well online i think i remember seeing patrick uh, mason the model creative director guy that also djs he did a night at that berlin bar called pros prolenza bar pro pros and bar i forgot the name of it but you know what i'm talking about if you if you know the vibes which i saw featured on instagram which i'm planning to go to if i end up going to berlin hopefully by the end of this year it's a bit of an outdoor venue so i'm not sure if there's gonna if it's gonna be open by the time i get there but if i'm not mistaken they do parties on like a thursday and a friday maybe thursday friday saturday but you know that kind of vibe is kind of like outside the uh, under a tent sort of vibe and she played there and people were really giving a lot of love i remember when it was happening on the weekend i was kind of checking and stalking people's instagram stories and stuff and everyone was like yeah she was one of the best um warm-up djs they've seen play in a long time and they can't wait to see her play in other places so she got a lot of good reception from the crowd that was there um i think i saw a little bit of advent i'm not too sure i think i saw a little bit of advent and then of course i saw um umbel playing back to back with imogen um, unfortunately it was um you know that thomas was his face couldn't be there because of his um very interesting views when it comes to covid and being a dj but you know let's say about that the better would have been nice to see matrix man you know i'm a big fan of his but you know maybe another time they'll probably end up doing that but i think as a debut event for fabric and the fact that fabric is known as being a bit of an old stodgy stuck in its way place for them to kind of give imogen that kind of a platform to do her own thing was fairly encouraging to see i'm not going to be, i'm not going to lie um and again it was nice to see such a different crowd in there it was a weird mix of people that are obviously hardcore jeff mill fans who were just standing next to the booth um looking into one of the little fabric signs that peers into a dj booth so they can see how he mixes and stuff which is cool obviously to see but you can see those proper chin stroker dj fans there right just sitting there analyzing his mix and stuff which is mad weird but then the other room there was a lot of kind of young people um obviously you know getting into it for different reasons whatever it may be different sounds different scenes different vibes but it just kind of created a nice little atmosphere in there jeremy I mean, you had this good little mix obviously it's still a bit of a strange mix to have like straight up like you know people that don't really know what's going on and just coming in because it's the only place open until seven and it's a fairly centrally ish location you can get home pretty easily from fabric in most places if you live in london well i live in east and it took me only 40 minutes or like about that to get there on a night bus which is minor really to be honest listen to some tunes as i'll go on the way there so i liked it man i'm not going to lie i think i think it was really one of the better nights i stayed until about 6 30 6 45 and i had a pretty decent time bit of a dance a bit of a boogie um i wasn't on much really i was running on some water some couple of drinks and that was about it for the most part and i was absolutely knackered knackered out of my brain like absolutely like going going a little bit loopy as i was leaving the place i'm not going to lie I ended up getting home at about what 8 9 a.m or something sleeping in and yeah i was i was i was very very well taken back by the entire evening um if i'm not mistaken i think when jeff was finished um i think anastasia christensen jumped on she was sick i didn't recognize that at first because i think she's got blonde hair now so i think that was her anyway playing i'm pretty sure it was um she was really really sick she kept the vibes going for the entirety of the night so much so that some guy collapsed but he was fine don't get me wrong don't get too worried some guy collapsed for the sounds of her heavy beats as she's playing the ones and twos but yeah man it was sick i'm not going to lie it was a pretty sick event sick times a couple of wild ads here and there but you know what to expect when you go out in london and you're always going to bump into a few bozos but for the most part i thought it was a fairly enjoyable experience the only thing that wasn't enjoyable was the entry to get into fabric um oh yeah yeah so that's the and then obviously a big up imaging one one and again for the invite or the the kind of extended invite from uh, from your guest um very much appreciated um i had a, I had a great time I felt very welcomed in that space. Um, thank you so much. But going back to the fabric thing, um, yeah, the experience of going in there is not the best, man. I, I, I kind of remember why I kind of stopped going in there. Um, it's an interesting space, isn't it? Because 
they kind of have to be heavy handed because of all the histories they've had and you know unfortunate events have happened and transpired in that club you know with people taking drugs and overdosing or maybe not being able to handle it or whatever it's not you know vibing with them and unfortunately they pass away you know very very troubling stories for sure for all the families associated with it definitely thoughts and feelings go out to those people um, obviously they had to continue on the party must go on and stuff and they have to obviously make some changes to ensure that, that stuff doesn't happen again because they don't want to risk their club closing down but then of course that heavy handed approach does lead to a fairly weird atmosphere if you are trying to go out there and do loads of drugs and drink it wouldn't necessarily be the first place i'd go to i have to be completely honest um they usually leave you alone it feels like in the toilets when you're in there but to get in there in the first place you kind of have to go through a very extensive search right you know what i mean you go in there you obviously show your your test you sorry your pcr your electoral flow test not pcr your electoral flow test or pcr regardless of which one you have just to get through one of the gates once you get through that gate you don't show your passport um the good thing is that they do accept you having a scan of your passport which is amazing because I forgot to bring mine like an idiot um, so I have to definitely get my provisional license in it sorted because I can't be carrying my passport around every day with me but it doesn't matter um, I forgot to bring that with me but that was fine because I had a scan once you take the scan you then take a picture on the machine when you take the picture, picture machine for CCTV purposes you then go in um, to another bit where I kind of from what I saw with the time I was in there it was like a whole group of ladies who were like stationed in like a kind of U shape and then you went to one you emptied your contents into a bowl and then a guy came came and scanned you with metal detector and then the lady came and kind of extensively extensively searched you under the pits everything like proper you know patting it not patting you down like proper making sure you got nothing untoward in there so it made me think you know for because for the entirety for the entirety of the time i was in fabric many many people were coming up to me asking me if i was selling drugs all the time it happens all the time in clubs not that big of a deal i don't really give a shit but as i was thinking to myself like if i'm in there and people are asking me that kind of thing like how would the drug dealers actually get the stuff in here it's flipping impossible i mean they're legitimately searching every crevice of your bag every crevice of your body i don't know how these guys are getting drugs in there it's what it's one thing getting stuff in for yourself but to get stuff in to sell to people it just seems like a big big bother that doesn't really necessary um but that aside once yeah then then you get in you have to walk up the stairs do the whole ticket thing walk back down again it's a it's it's a lot do you know what i mean then once you're in there there's security everywhere on the dance floor there's people picking up glasses every the time there's people walking in between the clouds with their flashlights on it just kind of takes you out of the vibe all the time jeremy you know I mean? it's a bit of a vibe killer i'm not going to lie um but obviously if you're off your face enough or if you're engrossed enough with the sounds of the beats that are rattling through that space you probably won't care too much but i guess because i was sober and i just came from home at like 1 a.m i woke up i was like, oh shit i need to go to this thing I wasn't really, I mean, I wasn't in tune. I mean, I wasn't situated yet. But obviously, after an hour or two, I kind of was able to kind of zone things out and be able to dance and have a good time. But I don't know. It might not be the best place I'd go to for a sesh. But obviously, to go see people play is sick. Sound system is amazing. I'd say Sound 2 sound system. No, I'd say the layout of Sound 2 I much prefer. That's why I think it worked really well for this um, Wigs event they had. Um, it kind of looks like a weird flipping altar at the at the top where the DJs are. There's like with lights that sort of makes the decks look like it's hovering and the lights on the top it just looks really amazing yeah it just looks amazing like a cathedral um and obviously room two is a little bit more square and it's a bit more rectangle really a shape so it kind of feels like one of those kind of you know bunker rave it's, it kind of feels like one of those underground underground clubs you would have gone to back in the day in east or some place in peckham obviously it's a little bit bigger in that in terms of space wise but i quite like that and then of course the space in between um room two and room one there's loads of seating areas that you can go and jam in so if you want to just watch the djs play you can and obviously room one the sound system might be a little bit more punchy maybe but i quite like how it feels more dynamic in real two in room two if you get what i mean it just feels a bit more dynamic and the teachers are right there you can see them everyone's kind of crowded around the friends and family on on either side of the booth sort of thing i love that kind of vibe and electricity that was going on in there the front of the crowd that was dancing when everyone was playing was really going for it and you could tell most of them were friends family and stuff so that really added to it so yeah fabric was decent not going to lie um it's definitely not a write-off in my book um i was comparing it to places like egg but i think it's, it's a bit unfair <laughs> especially because you know of how long they've been doing it and the fact that they've got such a you know an amazing array of djs that they can buy at any given time i still think you know lineup wise they maybe have one of the better better lineups um in london in terms of week on week on week right that you can maybe just walk into without even bothering to check who's on the lineup you can definitely have a pretty decent time but you have to mentally prepare yourself when you do go in there in general but yeah big up wigs big up fabric and everyone that i bumped into over there on that night